Hello everybody, this is Helix Wave. Today we're going to go ahead and get started on the AFK Fish Farm tutorial uh, that I had released in a preview. I apologize for that video's quality. This video's quality isn't too terribly great, uh, but I'm trying to make it better. I'm in between machines at the moment. I do need to build a, a better rig. I may put a video up on that uh, here in the next month or so. Uh, all of the materials were in this shulker box, minus a few things that I've forgotten. I am re-recording over this one uh, as it did not preserve the audio track, and I do believe uh, at least having a voice on a tutorial would be beneficial. Uh, I like to start off with an iron trap door. Uh, you do need that half slab, uh, so that's going to be a bottom half slab uh, right in front of there. Uh, the iron trap door is to hold back the water since it does not become waterlogged itself. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start our hopper chain down here. Uh, not all of these are going to be necessary. Some of these are just placers. Uh, this third one right here is actually going to point out to the other side. Uh, this is where your stackle items will sort off to. The one I just removed there will actually point the opposite direction uh, closest to your screen. Uh, that'll be where your non-stackables go. Of course, you could flip this around however you see fit. Uh, this part here is a standard AFK fish farm. Uh, so again, you'll just block up each side, tripwire hooks, and a string in the middle. I'll go ahead and throw a piece of ice here uh, in the center because my Redstone Creative World is a snowy beach biome. And it'll just turn to ice either way. Uh, so this next part is you're going to go ahead and drop down a, another slab here on the bottom. This is for your iron trap door. This is in 1.13.1, so 1.13.1 here, however you want to say it. Uh, so iron doors work again. I know there was a snapshot along the way that did not work. Uh, this does work again. I do like to put an ender chest above the door. So we'll go ahead and get a regular block over here. We'll drop our note block that we need so the fishing pole can continue on uh, actually casting uh, without reeling back in. I like to drop an inner chest there. I'll explain that here in a little bit. We'll go ahead and drop a single piece of redstone here. If you're on a server, you could use a repeater uh, and set it uh, for two or three ticks of delay if you have some lag. Uh, in this, this is a single player creative redstone world. Just a single dust will work. I've used this successfully on multiplayer worlds as well. I generally like to use either a comparator for one tick uh, or a repeater for two uh, for the actual door opening. This part right here is a non-stackable item filter. Uh, it is from Mumbo Jumbo's channel, uh, except I'm not going to use a torch here uh, and a piece of dust. I'm gonna go ahead and use a sticky piston uh, with a block of redstone. I'll go and get that. I like to use an observer here. You do not have to do it this way. Uh, it does help to reduce lag. Uh, let me grab this redstone block. We'll go ahead and drop that on our sticky piston here. And we'll go ahead and block down, block over. We're going to go ahead and drop a redstone repeater right there, as well as a piece of redstone dust. Uh, so now from here, all of your stackable items will actually pipe out to the left, uh, and we're going to go ahead and get our non-stackable items off to the right. Um, so when we put the hopper below this one right here with redstone dust in it, it, that redstone dust won't actually feed into the hopper below because that block is powered, so the hopper will be locked. We're going to go ahead and get some temporary blocks over here so that we can go ahead and get our hopper chain going this way. Uh, this is going to be our water bottle sorter line uh, and other non-stackables. Go ahead and grab some temporary chest here. Again, you could do your chest as, as long of a chain as you want. On the one behind me, we have chest going all the way to the ground. Uh, again, you could filter that down into you know, the normal like impulse SV uh, item filter or any of the other item filter uh, ones on YouTube. This right here, uh, it's pretty important. You'll always have one non-stackable item left over uh, inside that bottom most hopper right here. Uh, it will keep 
itself there because that hopper is locked. Every new non-stackable item that comes in will push that current item down the chain. A pretty familiar concept for a lot of you. Nothing groundbreaking or innovative here. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take a dropper. Uh, this originally, I believe, came from Panda. Uh, I saw it on Eli the Wolf's channel. We're going to take a dropper and we're actually going to feed that into a brewing stand. So we'll go ahead and get a block down here. We do need a hopper to face that block itself underneath the dropper. Because we do not want uh, our non-stackables to mix with our water bottles. That last hopper is going to be where our water bottles actually drop down into or pull from the brewing stand above. Of course, you can put a chest on the end of that. We're gonna go ahead and get started uh, with our circuit to actually fire one item at a time in through this. So we're gonna get a comparator to come out of that dropper. Uh, we'll put a piece of redstone dust on top of that hopper. We're gonna feed that with a repeater. And then we're gonna go ahead, uh, block up, block over. Uh, we will need a powered rail here. Uh, again, there's a comment on Eli the Wolf's channel that kind of explains how that works with quasi-connectivity. Uh, I'm no redstoner myself at heart. I do like to dabble and learn uh, from time to time. Uh, so now what we're going to go ahead and do, uh, I'm going to need to grab, it looks like a redstone torch. Let me snag that from over there. We're going to need to block up right here here uh, we're going to need a piece of redstone dust right here and then we're going to need to go ahead and block down block over with a repeater facing into that block that the comparator is sitting on uh, so that it locks the hopper underneath the dropper uh, so we're going to put a redstone torch right there and that completes this portion here um, so that's technically it you could again expand the the actual storage system itself uh, with as many chests as you want left and right and for the water bottles uh, so all of your bows and fishing rods and your leather boots and your saddles are going to go underneath the dropper down through that chain all of your water bottles are going to come out right here uh, right below the brew stand uh, as they get pulled from there and then all of your non-stackables basically end up on the right. All of your stackables end up on the left. Uh, from there, on the left, you could do any items order, like I said before, uh, that you want to do for the fish, if you need to, the name tags, the lily pads, and whatnot. Uh, this just makes it a little bit easier. Of course, you could always put a an actual dump system uh, on your your chest over here on the right for your bows and your rods once you have your one or two good, 100% mending, unbreaking three, lure three, luck of the sea three, uh, fishing rods. And now with observers, that's actually pretty easy to do itself. Uh, I do like to put a chest down here, uh, just so you can have that one uh, for your bows and your rods. Your various bits of broken uh, leather boots as well as your saddles. I tend to get a lot of saddles and leather boots whenever I make this design. I'm considering making it uh, in my survival let's play for 1.13. Uh, we have upgraded to 1.13.1 as of episode 2 earlier today. So we'll go ahead and clear out the inventory. We'll get started here uh, showing you how it works with the water bottles uh, and various other items there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab a rod, some bottles, some boots, I believe a bow, some fish, uh, and a saddle. And we'll go ahead and toss those in so you can kind of see it uh, live here. Let's go ahead and grab a puffer fish and some raw cod and some raw salmon. All the normal things. Uh, that you would normally get there. And because I am in creative, if I just smack that, it's going to uh, basically just go away. So I'll switch over into survival real quick. 
Uh, so I could break that. Of course, if you are building in a snowy biome, you may want to go ahead and throw the torches there anyway to keep it from freezing or cover it. Although if you do cover that uh, watermark with a solid block, uh, you will have reduced fishing rates. Uh, it's a great way to get leather over time, uh, string, uh, other things. You can take all of the uh, sortable uh, like bowls and sticks and feed those into a furnace for fuel uh, as well as it is possible to to replicate that same dropper system uh, but instead of a dropper you could use a furnace uh, instead of the dropper brew stand system you could use a hopper furnace system uh, to go ahead and burn down burn out the uh, the bows and the fishing rods uh, it's not too terribly efficient. It'll tend to back up your hopper chain if you're feeding your fish back in through the system. But as you can see here, water bubbles end up uh, in one spot. The rest of the non-stackables in another. Uh, all of your other stackables end up again on that left. I do like to use the ender chest above the actual door. Uh, mainly if you are AFK fishing with your mouse, uh, it's, it's pretty easy uh, if you're not unplugging it for something to come along and bump it. Uh, and since there's only a few pixels difference, so uh, from here we'll go ahead and get started with a, a little bit of a demonstration so you can see that it is still working in 1.13.1. This is where I mess up royally and throw a torch on the water. <laughs> I'll go ahead and grab a water bottle or a water bucket and go ahead and refill that there and we'll go ahead and get this part started here. Working just fine. Uh, again, have had no issues with this one. This is 1.13.1. Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and throw up the debug screen so you can see that portion. And like I said before, the ender chest is just helpful in case you do move off uh, with your mouse or you're not using a rebound key on your keyboard as your secondary mouse click action. Uh, you can go ahead and, and just kind of leave your mouse button either taped down or a weight on it uh, and then if something bumps it uh, you don't end up destroying your rod uh, itself you don't get any more fish uh, or books or anything like that but uh, at least you don't destroy your rod uh, do remember to leave a like and sub if you do like the content uh, check out the let's play series uh, definitely let me know what you'd like to see next have a wonderful day